Now we're going to start with the rebuild on this deal. But I want to show you how to do it right and how not to do it. Now you see all this bullshit and crap on the bench all the way around the motor? Okay, that shouldn't be there. When you're putting a motor together, it should be like a, an operating room. I mean, suppose you had a heart surgeon. He was doing some work on you and he really complicated work and he turns to the nurse and says, Get that damn cat out of here. That's the same way it is well as junk. So, and also, I've got to take off my electronics. I have to clean up everything, keep all the dirt and dust out of the, out of the uh, crankcase well. And after I do that, then we're going to go over the difference between blown pistons and good pistons. And I will show you exactly how these pistons work to the simple man's sayings and why they do what they do and why they're shaped the way they are. And after I explain it, then you'll understand, oh, that, that, that makes sense. And you see that, that we have the cylinder right here. Now we've taken the old, this is the old piston, 54 millimeter. You can tell it's got a little bit of a bitch slap crown look to it. Somebody bitch slapped that real good. I'm lucky it didn't explode in my motor. Then we have a new one right here. And we have a couple old ones. I keep all my old parts. No matter what, I keep them. Because I, in America, I can't get a hold of any uh, DO parts. Because they stopped making this model in 2001. So you can't, you can't, you can't buy them anymore. Except for uh, through the parts sellers. And they're, they're uh, little by little, you know, year after year, they stop selling the stuff. So on the next video, I'll show you what it looks like everything being clean and then we're going to talk about pistons and what they do and what not to do and what I know about them.